Hey everyone, this is Debbie with One Day, One Mother. Every family has a story. Welcome to ours. Today, I am introducing Jay, my husband. He is going to join us. Hi everyone. Again guys, this is my husband Jay. He has been my therapy. Everyone needs someone like Jay and I am so grateful and I am just so happy to have you in my life honey because you've helped me so much mentally in everything that I've been going through. So I just want to thank you and for just being who you are. It's very nice and very sweet. Thank you, baby. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. It's re really very easy. You're an easy person, so uh, helping you th through this is, has been one of the pleasures of my life. And, uh, you know, it's just keeping your mind occupied. I think that's probably the best advice I can give anybody is when you have a, a partner that has gone through a traumatic experience, you want to try to keep their mind occupied on other things. So we go on hikes, we've gone canoeing, we do things, we get out of the house, we don't get in a rut. We try to do things uh, that, that literally keeps your mind off of, 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 of Cynthia. We don't want to forget Cynthia. We want to make sure that Cynthia, Cynthia is all, always, will always be a part of our lives. But we want to make sure that when we have the opportunity, we try to do things together that keeps our minds occupied. So I have a question. Um, do you feel like sometimes you just feel tired of my moods? Because sometimes the days that you know, the days that my no, mood I, changes. I, uh, so. I, don't, I don't get tired of them. I feel the sadness. I'm, I'm an emotional person too. So whenever she... Um, has a, a bad day or I hear her crying in the bathroom I, I know something's wrong I get sad but my instincts kick in well let me do something that will take her mind off of it I'll cook breakfast I'll do something I'll make mimosas let's do let's do something let's do something to you know something different let's dance we put on African music and we dance you know? oh yes yeah. and we'll dance we'll do things like that that just you know, will we'll take your mind off of what you're currently experiencing. And, and there are times that are really tougher, and, and those times are typically the summertime right around her birthday, and then the time that she dies. So really, she has August, September, and October are typically pretty, pretty tough for, yeah. for, for you. And those are the times that I try to do the most. Uh, I really make an effort to try to, to, uh, to be there for you wow. and support you. Yeah. I thank you so much and I um, I am speechless because when, when I tell my viewers about the things that I'm going through um, in life, even though I'm explaining it, I have my champion and if we have champions like Jay or whoever in your life that will help you go through some of the hard times that you have, it may be a family member, it may be a co-worker, a friend, a neighbor, we just need to talk about how we're feeling and if we have people around us that surround us with love and everything, I think every day will be a wonderful day. So honey, I, I just, I love you and I thank you. Tell me one thing that you like about me. One thing I like about you is your humanity. That's a good, good one. Good yes. answer, good answer. Yeah, what that's is, the outtake. What is the one thing that you like about me? I, I like that you, you, you find your chi, you're very calm okay. in, most, in most instances. You don't like to argue. So what you do is you, you will go You'll get mad, but you will go somewhere and you go, i got to think my way through this. And you find your chi and you come back and you say, okay, this, this, and this, and this. Rather than blowing up. That's, that's probably my favorite thing about you. Yeah, wow. You don't get that. You don't, you don't yell. You don't raise your voice. You may get upset, but you will go and be quiet for a while and you'll come back and you'll say, this is what's bothering me. 
Wow. So it's a really, it's a, it, 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 you actually have taught me a lot, a, a, a lesson in relationship. So. What? Yes. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good to so. know. So now let me ask you about the things that we do together. Oh my God. What are some of the things? We love to travel, obviously. We've okay. Gone, we've gone many, many places. So. Gone to Houston just to, for Thanksgiving with our daughter. We've gone to uh, Paris. We've gone to New Orleans. We've gone to Miami twice for New Year's. We just finished this past year at Paris for New Year's and took the train to, to London for the day. And and, uh, and that's um, something good. You remember we just we, came back. Yeah. And that's when the coronavirus started. Started. That was right after. Right after we got back, they started shutting down Italy and then Spain and then France. And, so we got back right after the new year, and uh, and that's when the pandemic just spread like wildfire. Yeah, we were very fortunate. Yeah, we were. to get home, and we are now living under a rock. <laughs> and um, we know this is going to be over soon. We yes. we're just trying to put ourselves together. What we do, we we chat with our kids who are not at home with us. We talk to friends and family members and just check how they're doing. Um, it's been a rough time. It's been really hard, but life goes on. And um, another thing that there's something that I like about you. He cooks real good. <laughs> he did the best breakfast today. And uh, what was it that you cooked? I cooked scrambled. I just did something easy. Scrambled and sausage and uh English muffins, and uh, the mimosas were the were, was, was oh, your favorite. Oh yes, I yes. started out. You always start that out with was, mimosas. Uh huh. So we started out with two mimosas, <laughs> and then that gets the cooking going. Yes, so, that was yeah, good. So. That was good. And um, what do you think about our African dishes? The food that we oh, we I love it. I love it, especially goat. Goat is my favorite. Goat? Um, yeah. Is curry. goat an African? Well, it's, no, it's, it's Indian, it's African. I, I've no, eaten I'm, it all different kinds. Like curry goat, you can, you can have that Indian. I'm talking about, I'm asking you, what do you like about Fufu. African food? What are the f food that you really like, you Fufu. enjoy? Fufu. Fufu. Fufu? Fufu. When was the last time you ate Fufu? Fufu was at... Uh, um, um, Florence. Florence's oh, okay. restaurant. Yes. yes. That, I, like, I like Fufu. I like, I like everything that I've eaten. Okay. I mean, I don't, I like boiled, boiled plantains. That's something that's African, that's uniquely African. I've never had boiled plantains, and I like them better than fried. I've had them fried for years and years and years. That's a Mexican and, and, yeah. and, and Caribbean thing. But I've never had boiled plantains before, and they're really good. I was, I was really amazed at how good they were. He eats everything. Mm -hmm. He would tell you, so long as it doesn't kill him, he's going to eat it. That's and right. he enjoys our African food. And what about the culture so far? The culture is great. It's one of the best cultures. The African culture is very happy. Um, the, uh, it's very respectful. Um, and they, they enjoy just having uh, living life. <laughs> Uh, one of the things, that when, when the first time, it was kind of a culture shock when you first get thrown, thrust into it. Mm. And I was thrust into it, you know, being the only white guy and in, 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 at a party with uh, a bunch of people from Nigeria and Cameroon. And, uh, but they welcomed me like I was just one of the, one of the family. And, uh, like it's, it's a brother. Like a brother. And I mean, I'm, uh, it's one of the, one of the greatest things I've ever experienced. And, and, uh. I have really, really good friends in the in the Cameroonian community. I I, uh, I really enjoy going to see them. I, you know, they're they're great people. They're just really good, good to the core people. And uh, I always say, what do I always say? You know, good people attract good, good people. Good people, you know? yes. So we we tend to attract really good people. And 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 my wife has a lot of good friends and a lot of good people that she knows. Yep. Um, yep. But yes, that's that's probably what I like about the African culture is the happiness, the dancing. They get one thing I noticed the first time you never saw a frown in the whole place, <laughs> and there must have been what a hundred Cameroonians or more in this one in one place. Uh, you know, I was the only Oyibo there. Yes, the only, the only Oyibo. Oyibo. I was the only Oyibo <laughs> in the whole place, and 
and uh, you know he and and I, I looked around. That was probably you know I'm, I'm an I'm an observer. Mm -hmm. I like to observe people. Yeah, that's and true. And I looked around mm -hmm. and 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 was watching, and I saw everybody smiling, everybody dancing, and it was it was just one. It's just you. How can you be? How can you be upset in something like that? You know, that's a great therapy too. Yes. You know, yes, being with yes. your culture and being with your people and and dancing and doing those things, it, it's it's a great therapy. Yes. Um, it it you know, takes your mind. Takes your mind yes. off of those things. And wow. uh, so we do a lot of those things too. We like to go to the African parties, we go to the wake keepings and the and the weddings and yeah. the different parties, the end of year parties, the Christmas parties, things like that when we when we're available, when we're yeah. not traveling. And so those are things that, that actually help too with keeping your mind off of. Yeah. Off of and another things. thing that you do that makes me really happy is your sense of humor. Um, you hardly get mad. Yeah, that's true. That's and um, but I was mad at you once. But you, more you than once. Where? More than once. No, in in, in in Europe. Do not ask your man. <laughs> an address, how to go places. You make sure you get the address, get everything ready, and if he's driving, just sit and watch. He put an address for us to go somewhere I in know, Paris. I asked, I, asked, I asked Siri. Oh, what happened? Remember, I tell Siri, the story. I, I asked, <laughs> <laughs> this is too funny. I asked Siri, take us to Chans the Champs-Élysées. So uh, <laughs> at that point, we started walking and following the directions, and it was, we got on the Seine River and started walking, and we walked about two miles, right? Yes. Or longer, two, longer, two and a half miles. Longer. And then says, "You arrived at Sean's place." <laughs> 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 it was a restaurant called Sean's place. <laughs> so anyway, needless to say, we had to walk back the two or three miles, and then another mile and a half to get to Sean's Elysee. But anyway, yes, so. it was good exercise, and we enjoyed every bit of it. It was good exercise, but I learned my lesson that I will not let him get an address without me making sure that is the correct address. Because all he did, he told Siri on his phone, Hey Siri, take us to um, Champs-Élysées. So and for some reason, Siri... She doesn't speak French. <laughs> <laughs> she only speaks English. <laughs> Well, so this is Jay, this is the man, and um, yeah, that's it. He will be here. <laughs> yes, Jay will be here. Every, Every family, family has, has a story. story. Welcome, Welcome to, to ours. ours. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. Share, comment, and like.